Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a BLE notification alarm with Adafruit's Feather Sense and a haptic motor controller. This connects to your mobile device over BLE to trigger a haptic motor and a NeoPixel LED. It uses Apple's notification center service, so it lets you know when you've received a notification. This can be useful if you're away from your mobile device but still need an alarm to get your attention. It can also be used as a mindfulness timer for things like reminding you when it's time to stand up. The Adafruit Feather Sense has tons of onboard sensors and features the NRF52840. The DRV2605L haptic motor controller features lots of presets. This makes it easy to trigger various effects like ramping up levels, pulses, hums, and clicks. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. Be sure to check out the learned guide for full step-by-step -step tutorial along with the code, files, and build photos. The enclosure was inspired by the Frexens IKEA portable speaker. It's 3D printed and designed to snap fit together. The cover can easily be removed and it features a press fit diffuser for the onboard NeoPixel. A panel mounted toggle switch lets you turn the device on and off. The NeoPixel will indicate the connection status so you'll know if it's paired to your mobile device. The code was written in Adafruit CircuitPython and uses the various BLE libraries. Shout out to Liz Clark from Blitz City DIY for putting together this demo code. Notifications are displayed in the REPL window so you can see where the messages are coming from along with the title and category. You can customize the code to create your own alarms so you can make it fit your project. We think this is a great example for CircuitPython projects that use BLE and Apple's Notification Center service. We designed the CAD assembly to be easy to put together using SnapFit pieces and minimal hardware. You can get 3D models of Adafruit's boards and components from the GitHub repo linked in the description. The parts are printed in PLA and like most of our designs do not require any support material. We hope this inspires you to create your own BLE devices or help others by making accessibility projects. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.